Hey there, Sine with Hey Go To, and I'm going to walk you through how to customize Shop Aisle, which is a WooCommerce theme. If you've installed this on your site or we've set it up for you, this is how you can customize it and make it unique for you. Let's get started. To begin, you'll need to make sure that you're logged in to WordPress. I'm sure you know how to do that. Uh, once you're in, you have a couple of options. You can go to Appearance and Customize. Or if you're on the website and you're on, for example, the home page, you can choose Customize as well. Either one of these two locations or these two methods will lead you to the same place. I'm going to just leave one of them so, the only, so that we're only working with one. Okay, there are several sections that we'll be covering. Um, this is the free version. If you want the pro version, which includes these additional features, you will need to purchase the pro version. Uh, I'll start with Site Identity. Site Identity covers things like your logo, which will appear here, or your site title and tagline, which will appear here if you don't use logo. So Go Green Hemp Staging, this is, this is the site title that will appear right here. If you want to use an image, I do recommend a PNG or transparent background image. Now for the purposes of today's demonstration, I'm just going to uh, grab one that I have that I know is a PNG and has nothing on the background other than the image. So I'm going to choose that and you'll see how it layers right on top. Um, and then of course we can change the name and again this is uh, when you're not using the logo. The site icon, that that appears here or here uh, or when you bookmark it uh, that appears next to it like for example here's lynda.com and Udemy. Um, if you have a site icon you want to use, select it from here and it will place it there. Now we can save and publish and be done or we can go back up one level and go to the next section. The color section includes the header text and the background color and that's generally right up here. Uh, now we've, we've left it alone, we haven't selected one, which means we're going with the transparent. Uh, so that it will overlay the image. The header allows for additional uh, uh, small images that are snugged up against the um, navigation which you can change here and I'll give you an example of where that appears if we jump over to the contact us page which is, is just been a page that's created nothing else has been done to it. Do you see this header image appears right up here and it's snugged up under the menu. So when we talk about the current header that's the one that's being used and if you don't like that one you can uh, turn this off or up upload a new image. You can do that right here. Upload a new image. Now do you see where this says contact us? In the event the page title is not being used or the page title is blank this is what it will put in. It will also do this on the page where your blog posts will appear. Uh, you may also have a subtitle for your blog post. For example, if you're writing um, a blog about uh, the benefits of CBD oil and you want to state that on the page, uh, the header can be blog and the benefits or the, the subtitle can be the benefits of CBD oil, for example. Next is the front page section and this is probably where you'll spend the most time. There are several sections to the home page. Let me show you each of those in turn. The big title section is this big image right here and the words that sit on top of it. Now you can of course remove the image or you can hide the whole section if you, if you prefer. Now with, it, with this unchecked it will appear here and we can change the image and choose something you know large that will appear there for example like this one choose this image and it will change out that background you can also change the title this can be your uh, site title this can be your shop title uh, this can be whatever you want and then the subtitle goes here Okay, and then if you want to lead them to a read more page, 
you can do that here with a button label. For example, if this were more, you know, like you wanted to do the more about us or why this is important, you could change that here. Let's see why this is important. And you'll notice although I'm typing it in sentence case, it is putting it in uppercase. That's a CSS rule relevant to this button. Uh, and then if you wanted to direct them to the About Us page or the CBD oil uh, page, you could put that link here. Uh, and it's generally best to just go copy the link once you get there, like this, copy, and then paste. That way you're ensured that you have it all correct. Next is the banner section. And if we scroll down right here, we'll see three banners right here. And I will tell you this theme is set up and looks best with three, though you can have two, you can have four, you can have six. They will do some interesting wrapping. Uh, with a little bit of CSS changes, you can get two to display correctly, or you can get four to display correctly. I do recommend three, as that's, generally speaking, what most people are looking for. The who we are, what we do, and how you can get it kind of um, topics. People have short attention spans, you need to get right to the point. By default, the theme comes with three banners. You can change that here. I'm going to go upload a new image. And I have three samples set up here. Here's banner one. We like that one. Here's banner, banner two. Sorry, right here. Let's go select that one. And although these images are uh, different sizes, they're going to be sized correctly. I do, however, recommend a common shape, a common size. You see how these are all three pretty close. I think there are a couple of pixels different on one or two of them. Okay, now let's go scroll down. You see that we have the three images we just changed. Let's go ahead and say, um, put our title in here. Okay, so the section title will be, for example, From Farm to Pharma. Okay, that covers the banner section. Next is the products section. That will appear right here, and I don't have any products installed, so we're going to go insert one right now to show you that method, and then I'll show you how we can update th this section. So that I don't lose my current changes, I'm going to go ahead and save and publish what we've done so far. And then I'm going to close this out and head to the dashboard and products. I'm going to add a new product. And I'm just making stuff up at this point. Uh, forgive me for this for the purposes of our demonstration. Uh, I just want to get one installed real quickly. For the purposes of our demo, I'm not going to fill in things like the SKU and are we managing stock. Uh, I'll leave that to you uh, when you're putting together your, your products. I am going to select a product image. I'm going to go upload that. And set that. Now if I had more than one or if I wanted to allow the uh, visitor to be able to scroll through multiple images, I could add to the product gallery here. So this will always be the featured image for the product, but you can have additional images here. Uh, you can set product tags. For example, this is CBD oil. And then we would have a, a category that it would go into. And I'm just going to, again, for the purposes of this demonstration, put CBD oils and add that product category. I'm going to publish this. Now we have one product, and sadly only one, to work with. Let's go back to our customization and continue where we left off. So under the front page section, under the products section, right now it's going to display the latest products and it's asking us to insert a WooCommerce shortcode. Let's go grab that. Okay, the shortcode to produce uh, the most recent products looks like this. It is recent products, how many per page, and then how many columns. Uh, you can also, if you prefer, remove this and select a product category for that section. So for example, CBD oils will be displayed there, so only the CBD oils. In fact, you could change this to reflect what's being displayed. All right. 
Okay. Next section is the video section. And I know you've seen this before. This is the large uh, title, the long title, the whatever you want it to say title uh, that goes on the home page. For example, there we go. Let's, let's pull that in. And let's bring a video in. There's one related. Okay. So now that we have it, it's here. There's our long title. There is our video link that will be playing in the background. And of course you can um, you can have additional like this and, and like this. That'll get you a little bit more room on here. Um, you can, if you want, create a thumbnail that will display before they click to begin it. After the video section is the product slider section. Now this is a place for you to put a second row of products. You can give it whatever name you like. You can also include a subtitle and then you can choose the category of products that you would display here. Now if you don't want this section to appear on the single product page, check this and it won't. If you want to hide this on the front page, check this and it will take it off. Now if I put it back in, there it is. There's the exclusive product. See that? Checking this will hide it. Okay, that's it for the home page. Let's bounce back up. Uh, you have a couple of options in footer. Uh, this is the footer. Let me let me scroll this down. The right down here is going to be displayed, and and right now I'm, I believe that's displayed on all of them. And then there are four social icons. Uh, to get that, you can add a copyright, which will appear right above this. For example, copyright. Uh, 2017 and then the copyright symbol which is ampersand copy uh, semicolon and then perhaps the company dot com okay and then if I save and publish uh, unfortunately you won't see it here but the next time you're on a page anywhere within the site uh, and it updates you'll see it here okay also on the customizing footer section are the social icons that will appear right down here. You can add new ones by clicking add new field or you can alter those by clicking the add new social and editing it. Now if you want to keep uh, social Facebook then simply uh, change and put your Facebook link here. Uh, if you want to do Twitter put your Twitter link here. Uh, if you don't want to do Twitter click delete and that one will go away. Uh, if you have uh, Dribble, put your Dribble link here. If you don't use this one, click Delete. Uh, if you use Skype, put your Skype link here. Otherwise, click Delete. Uh, so you have uh, four defined initially. You can change those to whatever you want. And to change them, let me let me go ahead and bring that up. Click on uh, the icon, and you'll be able to scroll down through here. Now, the social icons, they have quite a few. Uh, let me just show you where those appear. So there's Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Google+, Tumblr, uh, StumbleUpon, WordPress, Instagram, Dribbler, Vimeo, LinkedIn, and RSS feeds. Also MySpace and uh, Skype, YouTube, what is that, uh, Picasa. So they're all right down here, all of the um, social icons. So ch click to choose, or you can begin typing, for example, if I were to start with social, all of the social bookmarks will appear right here. Okay. After footer is the advanced options in the background image. Now these are uh, to be used in the event of a 404 and to be used uh, for the background of the site. I don't necessarily recommend these two. Contact page will require that you create a contact page first which you can see here I've done. Let's go select that and then once you have uh, created the page press customize at the top bar so let's customize and it'll <laughs> no I'm not so let's customize new changes so this is the contact us page and what we'll get here is a form plugin that you may be able to pull in and the map code 
the map shortcode. Now this particular theme rep uh, recommends simple contact form plugin from Pirate Forms, although any will work. If you have Gravity Forms, put the shortcode there. If you have Contact Form 7, put that shortcode here. If you do want to include a map, install the plugin Energeo Maps and create the map there and then place the shortcode in here. Next up is menus. Menu locations are defined here. You can select a primary menu. Now if you haven't created one, you will need to create one here. Navigation. How about main navigation? Create the menu. And right now there's nothing on the main navigation, but I am going to set it to be the primary uh, menu here. And I'm going to add items to the main navigation. So I want home. I want contact us. And maybe a product category. Okay, save and publish, and that will give us home, contact us, and CBD oils, for example. Now, I know if you're familiar with WordPress, you probably already know how to do this on the normal uh, menu page. I'll show you what that looks like. Let's pop right over here. Appearance, menus. And here is the menu structure for the main navigation menu. Uh, if you do want pages to be, any new pages that you add to automatically be added to the menu, you can check this button. Uh, otherwise I would leave that blank and this is the primary menu now for this particular uh, theme this is the only menu location uh, as you add stuff it will appear over here and you can just check it and click add to menu okay after menu is widgets and it's the same thing WordPress has a built-in menu uh, widgets editor uh, there's also one here in the customization area this will tell it whether or not you're allowing a static front page which we are and then the documentation for this particular theme. If you need additional information, you can find that here. I hope this short walkthrough video for how to customize uh, the various areas on your theme has been helpful. Please let us know if we can help you further. We're always here to help.